Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel, Learn with Geeks. In today's video, I will discuss with you in a very simple words, what is the difference between implicit measure and explicit measure. So let's start. And before starting, if you are new to this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated with all the videos. Okay, so let's start. So as you can see on the screen, implicit measure. So it is something that is automatically created by Power BI. So this is a theoretical description of what is implicit measure. So if anyone asks you in your interviews, in, in Power BI interviews, what is implicit measure, you can say it is something that is automatically created by Power BI. Okay. Now, what is explicit measure? So explicit measure is it is something that is created by us explicitly using some DAX functions. So in this way, you can explain what is explicit measure. Okay. It is something that is created by us explicitly using some DAX functions. Okay, so this is the theoretical difference between implicit measure and explicit measure. Now, let's see practically how we can differentiate these two. Okay, so let me take you to the demo section. So here, as you can see, we have three tables here. One is the profit, second one is the sheet one and the third one is the sheet two. So we have three tables here. Okay, and we have different columns in, the, in these different tables. Okay, so as you can see for few columns, there is a summation mark here. Okay, as you can see here. As you can see here in this sheet one table, we have summation mark for population approx column. Okay. And in this profit percentage column. So these are numerical fields. So when, so we, when we had pulled uh, the, these tables uh, from Excel sheets to Power BI, so Power BI, engine, so Power BI engine has automatically uh, put summation mark there in, on those numerical fields. Okay. So what does this mean? So let me pull this here and then let me tell you what does this mean so summation mark means it will summate or do the summation of all the values that are present in that particular column okay let me uh, convert it into a table okay okay so as you can see 12700 is the final value after summing all the values in that particular column that is up population approx okay and let me show you the data also what does population approx contains okay so i think sheet one has the tables has the population approx column so as you can see here population approx column has these values 10000 2000 500 and 200 so when we will sum these the sum will come as 12700 so this is called implicit measure so power bi has automatically summate or have done the summation of all those values present in that numerical column okay so this is a kind of implicit measure where we are doing the summation by through power bi engine okay so and it is not limited to summation only you can do different operations here like for example i can show you here so as you can hear see here right now it is sum you can do also do average you can also do minimum you can also do maximum similarly count of distinct count standard deviation variance median so all these aggregations you can perform okay and that is automatically done by power bi engine okay so this is for numerical fields now you must be thinking what what about text fields or what about other fields so for other fields also for example this is a text field okay so let me show you this also so when i will pull this okay so as you can see here it is containing values as a b c d okay so for these uh, text fields how does power bi implicitly uh, does some kind of uh, operation on top of this column so we can see it here so here you can see we can see the first value we can see the last then also we can do the count of distinct and count so these operations you can perform on this particular column for example if i do the first it will show the first value as a okay if i will do the last it will show the last value as d okay so in this way we can do some uh, operation on top of text field also and this is a part of implicit measure only and similarly it will happen for columns which are containing date values also so there also you will find some implicit uh, calculations that can be done by power bi automatically so so now how does it differentiate from explicit measure so explicit means you are explicitly defining those measures so for that what we do we create a measure for that for example i will do right click here okay and create a measure here so what i am doing i am creating a measure for example test measure equal to sum of 
so we have a function called sum okay sum of this population approx column okay let close the bracket and present it here so this is a measure that we have explicitly defined and what we have done we have summed all the values present in population approx column okay the way the power bi engine did it for uh, this population approx column implicitly okay so let me pull this test column here and let me show the value okay so this column also contains value as 12700 okay and this is a explicit measure where we have explicitly defined that do the summation of all the values present in that particular column that is a population approx okay so here we are explicitly defining to do count or to do sum or to do average or anything whatever you want okay now what is the advantage of using this explicit measure like why we are doing this if we can do all these things through implicit measures only if power bi can automatically do all these things then why we are doing and why we are going for explicit measures there is a very simple reason for this we are doing this because in many of the columns in our tables we have columns like for example here profit column okay let me show you the values here in this column so let me take you to this profit table and see what the values of this column contains 10 20 30 and 40 so if i do the summation of this profit percent column will it be correct will it, it will it show the right value can i do the summation of profit percent for all these companies a b c d no you will not get right so that is why when we have a lot of tables when we have a lot of columns and to avoid this kind of confusion we go for explicit measure because it is a non-additive column profit percent is a non-additive column you can't directly sum or do any kind of aggregate functions on top of it you can't do anything implicitly but you can't allow power bay to do anything implicitly on top of it the reason is because it is non-additive you can't directly do this so for that what we do we go for explicit measures so to avoid any kind of confusion while creating our reports we don't use implicit measures whatever aggregation whatever transformation whatever manipulation on top of all the data that we have to do we do it through explicit measures okay the way we did it for this test measure so this is why we prefer explicit measures instead of implicit measures i hope now everything is clear to you regarding implicit and explicit measure and if you like this content then please share it with your friends too so, they, so that they also exactly get aware about these two things implicit and explicit measures in power pay okay thank you